I just want to show you how to add a sign up form that allows a customer to enter their email address and then receive a digital download. So where we need to start is you need to get an email app. For this example, we're using Clavio. Want to sign up, you can get up to 250 emails in there on the free plan. So if you go to load up the dashboard, go to sign up forms. And then what you need to do first is install the code snippet. So I'm going to click this, copy all of that code here. And what we're going to do is go back to your Shopify store, go to online store, go to these three dots, click edit code. I want, want you to open the theme.liquid file. And this will paste this code on all of your website so you can basically put the sign up form wherever you want. So we need to scroll down and just above the body closing tag, make a new line, paste the code there, press save. Go back to Clavio. So now you can obviously check that it's installed correctly, which it is. Um, next, go to lists. What we all need to do is create a list. So go up to here, press create list button. List. Um, just call it tester. Create list. And you're going to go to here to create sign up form. And then you have to look for a one that suits your style. So you've obviously got some that are pop ups, some that go onto the full page or a full page, flyouts. Um, there's many different ones, but we just want a nice simple one that you can add onto a page. Let's just click build from scratch. Embed. So this is what we want is a nice embedded one. So we'll just click all right tester. And then you want to make sure that, that we select the right one here. So tester is where all the emails are going to go to into that list that we just created. So now we're going to click save. So this is a nice simple sign up form here. So what you want to do is just customize everything. It's pretty customizable. And then once you're done, you go to here, you press live. You're going to copy this tag here. And you're going to press publish. Then what I'm going to do is go back to Shopify. We'll come out of here. And then find the page that you want to add the newsletter form to. So I'm going to add it to a page that I created before. So go to pages, sign up here. And then you want to show HTML, paste that code there. Obviously, you'll have a full page with actual content on the page, but you'll just need to paste this tag somewhere in the HTML on the location where you want it to show. Then we'll click save. And you can go to view page. And there you go, there's the sign up form. But essentially, you can paste this anywhere you want on your site using that little code snippet. Now, what you want to do is create a flow. So, whenever an email address falls into your tester list, then it will trigger an email to be sent to them with download links. So, you want to go to flows. And you're going to go up here to create flow. Then you can choose from templates, but let's choose create from scratch. Tester, create flow. So what's going to trigger this flow is that when an email drops into this list. So we're going to click list. And we're going to choose which list. So we're going to choose our tester list. And click done. So this is the start. And then because we're going to deliver the download links via email, well, it's up to you. You can choose the other options if you like, but for this, we're going to use email. Drag that over here. And then what we need to do is edit the contents of this email. I'm going to click edit. So then you can obviously choose the name, subject line, all that sort of stuff. And we want to use the drag and drop builder. Nice and simple. So for example, let's just say we choose this template. You can create your own if you want to, but for now we'll use a template. So imagine you had downloads written here. This is the download button. You click download files. 
you put your URL in here from like Dropbox or Google Drive, wherever you're hosting your free files. And then you're gonna go up to click save and exit once you're ready and designed everything. There you go. And then once you've set that, we can go up to here, click done. Okay, once you've clicked done, you'll come back to here. I've had to change the browser because the other one crashed. Okay, so once you've clicked done, you'll come back to this page. Okay, so once someone subscribes and their email goes into this list, they will get sent this email once this goes live. So what we want to do is set it as live. Congrats, yay. And then update action statuses. You're gonna click live, update, I'll close that, and there you go. That's all you need to do. It's a bit of a process, but that's the whole process done now.